Hi, I'm Alex and this is Pucks and Paperbacks. Today I have my end of the summer book haul. These will be the books that I got in July and August. I really don't have a lot here so let's get started. Starting off with a book I forgot to mention in my June book haul. It's All in How You Fall by Sarah Henning. I mentioned this in my most anticipated sports book releases of the year video. It came out on May 31st. This follows Caroline who was a gymnast but she started developing chronic back pain and had to stop and she meets a guy named Alex who is a three sport athlete and he basically gives her a crash course in all the sports she missed. I am so excited to read this. I really hope I get around to this before the end of the year because it just sounds right up my alley. Now we're officially moving into the July and August books. This is a pre-order. It actually came out August 6th but the publication date was changed. Originally it was supposed to come out in July and then it got pushed but I ended up receiving it in July and this is Melissa C's debut, You, Me, and Our Heartstrings. This is about music, disability, and going viral online. I'm so glad I finally have this book in my hands. I love Melissa and I cannot wait to read her book. I've heard so many great things and she's just such a sweet person. This is a romance about two musicians, Noah and Daisy, whose performance ends up going viral. Noah has generalized anxiety disorder and Daisy has cerebral palsy and I'm just so excited to read this. I can't wait. This is another book I really hope to get to before the end of the year because it's one of my most anticipated releases. I love Melissa. She is such a sweet and kind person. I follow her online. She's awesome so I will have some of her links down below if you want to go and follow her and get her book. Now speaking of my TBR video, if you saw that I mentioned this book, Melt My Heart by Bethany Ritter. It is a queer friends to lovers and as you can see there's still a bookmark in it. I have not gotten around to reading more of it but basically it is about two friends who work at an ice cream stand. This is set in the UK. I got it from the book depository and I saw it recommended and it sounded really good. I like what I've read of it so far and I just hope I can find the time to finish it. Another book I mentioned in that TBR video is Beach Read by Emily Henry. I bought it because I wanted to read it on the beach when I went to the beach. And uh, you'll find out more of my thoughts in my August wrap up. I don't know if I really need to tell you about this book because Emily Henry is very popular. But if you haven't heard of her, she's a romance author and this book specifically is about two rival writers. They end up having a bet where the male protagonist has to write a romance and the romance author has to write a literary fiction. Like I said, you'll find out more in my August wrap up but I just have mixed feelings on it pretty much. But a romance book that I don't have mixed feelings on is The Feeling of Falling in Love by Mason Deaver. I was a part of the Pride book tour for this book so I will have my Instagram post down below if you want to read more of my thoughts. I loved this. It is a T for T hate to love romance and it's everything. I cannot wait to tell you more about it in my wrap up. And the last book is basically how I've been feeling over the month of August and this is Burnout The Secret of Unlocking the Stress Cycle by Emily Nagoski and Amelia Nagoski. If you didn't know I have a Patreon and as a part of that you are given access to sessions on certain topics and there was one on burnout so I attended it and someone recommended this book so I bought it. There's also another one I'll have it in the description so if you just want to read more books about burnout I can't wait to read this because I get burned out so easily. This month I was so burned out and so I'm excited to read this just to learn more about it and how I can recognize it and kind of cope with it when that is going on. So those are all the physical books but I do want to mention I bought two audiobooks. One was Rosalind Palmer Takes the Cake. I read that in my queer baking vlog 
And I also bought Love and Other Disasters by Anita Kelly, which is another book that I mentioned in that TBR video. <laughs> that is it for my summer book haul. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel when you do so. And if you want to hear more of my thoughts on queer and trans books, feel free to hit subscribe. And I will see you all next time with another video. Bye. Mm -hmm.